Okay, let's watch. Watch, baby, especially at the bottom. Let's see that. Minds blown everywhere. <laughs> Anthony Yan is visiting Treasure Forest Elementary in the Spring Branch ISD to give the kiddos a little demonstration. Yeah. What'd and you do? What was that? In case you missed it, I we, did miss it. We, we created a cloud. I so see all the way I, I wrote a I wrote a book on the water cycle yeah. called uh, A Wild Ride on the Water Cycle: A Jake and Alice Adventure. So when I read the book to these students uh, who are in kindergarten and first grade, one of the things I did is uh, let's make a cloud. So okay. we're going to make a cloud together. Well, let's so do it. We're going to put this in the middle, and so if we, one of the camera's going to get a close-up shot of this. I'm going to have you help me with this, though, first of all. Um, can you see what the temperature is in there? You have to, first of all, look and tell me what the temperature is, because there is a science lesson here. 24. 24. So 24 degrees Celsius, Celsius. is about, about 74, maybe a little closer to 76. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in two drops of water. One, two. We're going to shut oh, this. Oops. Got That's it. okay. It's there in there. We're going to shut this. Okay. Okay. And now you're going to use your brute strength and I want you to squeeze this, and what you're going to do is compress the air in there. So you're just gonna, squeeze this squeeze, guy. Squeeze, keep going until you can't just keep go doing anymore. it. Okay. Because it's going to fill up to where it's you're not. And I'm just be able to pushing more air in there. You're pushing more in there. Keep going. You're almost. We, we, it'll come to a point where you're like, uh oh, I can't get any more. I can't squeeze any more. It's getting Got harder, it? but it's getting close. It's getting close. Got, oh yeah, I can tell. You can tell. Okay. You think it's good enough? Let's see. Oh yeah, you can't like do it. So now tell me what the temperature is in there. Now the temperature is. 28. 28. So, so we Celsius. Celsius. That's a lot of so degrees. Almost 80 degrees, 78 to 80 degrees. So what's happened is we've compressed the air in here. Okay. Compressed air is a hot air. So now what we've done with those two drops of water is we've made them hotter. Right. Okay. And it's compressed. So we're gonna go ahead. We're okay. We're zoomed in. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the top. Get a little more of the bottom of this. Get the bottom of the yeah. Get that part. Okay. okay. Ready? Let me. It's hard to sometimes get out. I know. It's a weird position. So. So there it is. <laughs> so, okay, so what happened is the way we made a cloud was those two drops of water that was compressed, it got warmer. As the air was released, that water vapor or the water rose. As it rose, it condensed and it created a cloud. Hence, why you saw in the video all the kids, whoa! Yeah, because they were that was there. cool. Yeah, so it's a, a fun little demonstration we show on, on heat, compression. Right. And then, of course, condensation. You know, especially, I feel like with science, there's nothing like visual learning. Yes. It just makes the difference. Yeah. Keeps them entertained, keeps them interested, and you get to see it right in front of your eyes. Yeah. Great experiment. And I want to show a couple of pictures of my visit because okay. these were just great kids. It was, again, it was the kindergartners and the first graders. So if you take a weather one, here are all the kids that I was talking to <laughs> at Treasure uh, Forest Elementary, Spring Branch, ISD. Uh, such fun kids. And so, uh, you know, and so here's the demonstration. Hey, does anybody have any questions? Questions? Yes, we have lots of questions. <laughs> How do you make here. a cloud? Oh, and then, it's, and again, when I'm talking about what's happening, just like with what I do with you, I just love this kid's face. Like you said, visual demonstrations. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then we got another kid up here. And so <laughs> I said, I need the strongest kids because, like, you know, once you're squeezing this, yeah, it, it gets, gets harder to do. And you really sure. have to compress the air. And so I need these spring. And I, this kid, I said, I need you to show me your muscles. He his is this a special bottle that they make for experiments? Yes. Did you make this, or how no, is that? Okay. No, it's it's special. So there's a, a little specialty science store that I went to, to to get this, and then we do some other things. You got this. Kid. What an awesome experiment! Yeah, it looks like he's dancing around. He's oh, uh, there and was then, showing uh, some other. And we were talking there. about some other things here. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about the humidity, and so where does we took these dr two drops of water? Where are these drops of water now? Because we make we we rub our hands together and they go away and so we didn't kill the water we didn't make it disappear but now it's water vapor and we talked about how it's kind of the, like today it's the air you wear and <laughs> right. so the humidity you're wearing that water on you now because it is so humid so anyway i'm glad i got to show that Me with too. you Thank